Okay, he's got left arm shot off, right arm shot off, left leg shot off. No wonder he moves so slowly. But it also means his accuracy is going to suck. But let's have a little look at this bad boy. Let's see what it does. He 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 he. Can't hit anything with it. But in the kill zone, that is going to be. Welcome back to episode 13 of Doom World, you beautiful people. What we have done is we've expanded the base down into this section here. So what we can do is we can start getting some farms and some planting going on. We're also going to need to look into getting some more armor because we have a whole bunch more colonists. So we've got the likes of blue, nyx, purple. No, purple we've had for a while. And we've also got these three in here who we are looking at recruiting as well. So this is going to give us a bunch more people. And at the end of last episode, we got the Mech Resurrector Serum researched, which means that we just need a whole bunch of Luciferium medicine and advanced components and we are going to be able to resurrect like Churro, Steinberg and Taiko which is going to be super good. We've got some batteries going, we just need to free up the manpower yet again so we can get these fed. So we're going to put rice into them that will keep those going and they'll produce a bunch of power, hopefully, but we will see. We also have the mechanoids will be coming in. So they say within the next 12 hours, but it can be any time within that. So once we have dealt with the mechanoids, we're then going to start moving out and going into the world map and looking for some more armor. We also have the Toxic City, which might be a good opportunity. So we'll take like Vincent, Flo and Squint, run them into the Toxic City, see if there is anything in there that is going to be worth taking for us. Because there might be some decent loot. We're not expecting miracles from it, but something good would be quite nice. And also where we're immune to the toxic fallout, that is not something that we particularly need to worry about. Ape has just joined us now, which is obviously pretty good. Having extra corners is always going to be helpful. We are running low on clothing because we sold most of that off the other episode. But soon things will be going pretty well. We're going to put a couple more chairs in here because just notice that people aren't eating on both sides. And we also going to have a bunch of wood freed up, which is going to be able to get the chairs made and then the extra bed. So everyone should have a room. And soon we're going to move to the prison and we're going to put it somewhere else. Maybe like down here so it's just proper out of the way. So that we can make this rec room a bit bigger so then we can have more rooms around it. Meaning less people eating without a table. And the mech is now here. Let's see what they're dropping in with. Oh, just all of the ciphers. That's cool. They want to their defensive positions. These aren't the upgraded ciphers, thankfully. So, these guys have like 40... Was it sharp resist? Whereas the upgraded ones have like 50 odd percent. Which isn't a huge increase. Well, actually, increase-wise, it is pretty big. It's like 25%. But just makes them a little bit tougher to take down. Once we get a chance and we can get our hands on them, we're going to see what they strip down into. Because if they can strip down into extra resources, obviously that is going to be wicked because the mechanisms are going to start evolving real soon. And good job we extended that kill box because they managed to pretty much get through that. Didn't you check the size of the kill box, though? Yeah, it's just a little bit too big. Not a massive issue. We'll just put some heavy weapons in as well. So anyone that starts trying to hang around the start here with, say, a sniper rifle or something won't be able to do too much because the other guys will be shooting them. And that was dealt with quite nicely. So before the next set of raids come in, I reckon we go and we check out that Toxic City. So flow, squint and Vincent away we go and they'll be there in absolutely no time those guys are rapid maybe we get some extra components maybe we get some luciferium all of that will be super useful okay go frenzy conetto days we've dealt with that we've seen ape okay super pod has been researched which is good 
which means that we're not too far off the south which is going to make getting around the map super easy and we are already at the toxic city you gotta love that void skin suit that thing is insanely quick having a look around there really isn't much a bunch of bodies that we don't particularly care about So let's go crack open some walls and see what happens. I can hear a bunch of thudding, so there might be mechanoids around. Probably in these larger rooms. Yeah, there we go. Okay, these ancient Cairo pods are going to be insane because that is just going to drop all of the plastic and so many advanced components. Isn't looking like there is too many of them. We should be fine taking all of this. We flow back, we squint to the side. Vincent's got the worst weapon so Vince can tank right now. got a phalanx but we're not too fussed by them they don't seem to do a lot of damage they've got the potential to because they got some aoe goliaths are absolutely useless they're basically just pikemen but with better armor and the needle gun is one of the worst weapons that the mechanoids have so it just seems a bit of a waste we flow into the corner vincent's quite happy there squint we're going to move you across you move this side Okay, toxicity seems to be actually moving. We've got a carpenter along here. Dealt with. Squint coming here. What's the armor on the carpenter? 119%. So that's nearly double a centipede armor. Which is probably why they're so tough to take down when you're shooting them. Yeah, we are doing now against that. Thankfully, they don't have any guns on them, or they would be, like, super deadly. Okay, we're all rested up now, so we're just going around and breaking the ancient crypto sleep caskets. But we're not getting any advanced components from them for some reason. Whereas normally you do. But... Ah, it's not the end of the world. And we'll get the other guys over here and we'll set up a storage. See if we can't take anything. Well, get anything that's going to be worth taking back with us. Because right now, for the weight of the stuff that we're coming across, nothing's really worth it. Maybe the plastic. Okay, some more mechanoids. We'll just move back a little bit. Move Vincent up. Not that he's going to do a massive amount. Okay, it's about those components because we don't want them burning away. That'd be a massive waste. Zake Persona Sword, excellent quality. Melee, 13.3. 39% armor penetration. Decent, not great. Let's put this out. Deconstruct these, get those two, move across here, shoot that wall in. More mechanoids, but they're the weak ones, so that's cool. Gives us a couple more things to break down. Alright, don't want to say that's a complete waste of time, but definitely a bit of a waste of time. 27 components, that's nice. The rest of this stuff's pretty useless. Plastil is good though. We'll take the swords. They're worth a bit. We've got all of the plastic, and I think the rest will make up with, with uranium because at least that we can sell for a little bit of money. Not a massive amount, but a bit. And we'll send them across once they're all done. Okay, we've arrived at the tribals. We'll shift the insect jelly. We'll sell the drugs off. They can have the uranium. 
We can have the Persona Swords, they're not selling for a massive amount unfortunately. And seeing as we are working our way towards the Mechanoid Power stuff, we'll get the Mechanoid Power Cell. And anything we can sell to make up that difference. Okay, we're giving them a little bit of Plasteel. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. And now back to Ark. Okay, we arrived at the headquarters and we're just straight away just going to form another caravan and go across to the other Ark settlement. We'll send Jupiter and we'll send Cornetto as well. So they, just so we can carry some more stuff, you can have all of the chem fuel, all the frambo fur, all the smoke leaf, all the levers, any narcotics, animal pulsar, architect teleporter, any weapons we still have, and all of our silver. And they can have the jade. Just had some infested ship chunks crash. One of them has landed in our little processor place down here. Which is a little bit annoying because if that triggers we're just going to have bugs all in this area around here. So we need to wait until the other guys come back and then we'll clear that out. We're still looking pretty good for resources on our map so we don't need to worry too much about that. And we just got a landed troop ship. Troopship is a large mechanoid factory ship capable of producing large amounts of combat ready mechanoids in a very little time. When destroyed, mechanoid presence on the surface will be lowered. If it's left operational, contribute to the size of the mechanoid attack parties, drastically increasing mechanoid presence. Fantastic. Just noticed that if the food is on this side of the storeroom, they eat it there instead of going to the tables. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build a little freezer for ourselves in here. So we can drop the food off into this area and then there is always going to be close enough for our pawns just to run in and grab their food. Not in the best situation because we won't be able to put an airlock in and the temperature will rise and the people running out the food will spoil. But I mean having a little bit of food spoil every now and again isn't as bad as having the dreaded 8 without table debuff. So. We'll do it this way, that seems to make sense and should be sorted pretty quickly. So we'll allow meals, important, critical. And then we just go over here and we say haul urgently. And then, yep, yeah, they'll all come to here. And then when the pawns want food, they just go into there, grab it, and then it's done. We'll move that down to minus 39. And that should prevent, even with the doors opening, the food spoiling, ideally. Whether it's going to work that way, I guess we'll find out. One of those ones. And beef up the walls a little bit, just to try and discourage some sappers coming in. Because I know they're going to love doing that. Caravan's arrived at the yacht complex. Sell all the camp fuel, everything else as well. We'll keep the medicine, we need that. Jade. The pulses can go. So we need three more suits of armor and we need two more helmets so we're also going to need a couple more skin suits. So we'll grab two bison skin suits and then I think we'll get the synth red one. So that means all of the guys will now have at least skin suits underneath their armor and then we'll get the security armor, three sets of that and then we're also going to need a couple helmets as well. Security helmets seem to be doing us quite all right, so we'll get two more of those. So three, three, two. And we're also going to need to start looking into some weapons. And unfortunately, they don't have any good weapons here at the moment. So we're just going to leave that. We'll run back to the base and then we'll just send Flo by herself up to the other UAC. And then I think we're going to swing by Goffenhurst as well, see if we can pick anything else up as well. So we weren't able to get any Luciferium. Without the Luciferium, there's very little point buying the advanced components just yet because they got massive stockpiles. They got like stockpiles of like 300 odd advanced components. So right now, advanced components aren't our main issue. It's going to be the Luciferium and then getting some medical supplies up. The caravan has returned back to base, so that was nice and quick. We'll get them to drop everything else off and then we'll get ready to move out. And I think that is now going to be everyone, so Ape, Blue, Nynx is going to all have some pretty decent armor on. Okay, Squint has Inspired Trade, so we're going to send him up 
to the base we'll send them up with flow and that hopefully will get us a decent deal on what we're about to sell or buy so we've got a little bit of chem fuel to sell some cloth some other rag and tags and then we got a whole load of smoke joints to sell they say we'll run out of food soon but we'll be there and back in less than a day even though we are going at night which is going to take a little bit longer and we want to haul that granite up so we can start processing that down we got raid imminent from the sharp hive and they will be attacking us within the upcoming 12 hours it is now 11 o'clock so the chances of the other guys being able to get to the base and then get back is pretty small not impossible but i very much doubt we're going to be able to get there and back in time and for some reason Ninx doesn't want to wear armor or the bison suit so we are going to manually equip him to do that forswear and forswear that's just going to make him faster and less likely to get randomly slotted and go down going to trench everyone across to no drugs because we just don't want the consciousness debuff on them because your pawns just end up moving like super slowly and then they can't do things and then they work slower and yeah that just sounds like a, a recipe for disaster and then they can get addicted to it i mean at the moment we're not having too many issues with mental breaks it just seems like a, a bit of a waste and it's just going to be cutting into our profits caravan has made it and let's see if there's anyone worth recruiting heat tolerant slow learner abusive misogynist rowdy and fragile good with animals can't fight no coordinated compose aesthetic and kind that's good if you're actually good at doing anything we would take you very neurotic fast water greedy and tough that is not bad good crafting good medical good intellectual but you are 55 years old mm, i think we'll give that a skip persuasive misogynist muscular lazy brawler and kind uh no they're not bad but we are doing all right at the moment, so don't need to worry about that. Unfortunately, they won't buy the smoke leaf, so, well, we can't sell it, simple as that. I think we'll pick up two chain guns, just to add a little bit more flavor to our defense, and one heavy rifle. And then we're gonna go to Goffenhurst, and then move back to the base before the raid comes in. We won't get there in time, but we might be able to catch the end of it. And we do have a enough people. Okay, Sharp Hive has arrived. And they're dropping in. Okay, Patrick, mate. Time for you to move. Don't want you in trouble down there. Everyone else, move along here. And I don't think there's any holes into the base. So we should be fine. They should just head towards the kill box. And now the Giga Locusts are fairly tough, but they're not invincible. So 70% sharp, 70% blunt. So you're probably better off shooting them than trying to fight them in close combat, which with me is A-OK. -okay. We don't have really anyone that can fight in close combat. Okay, we just made it to another base. Everyone draft, into defensive positions along here. Save these new defensive positions. And back to normal speed. But yeah, they're just getting shot up pretty good. A couple of them might get in close. So move Cornetto back, we'll move Blue into block. And yeah, that's fine. I don't think they're going to get through the gun line. And the guys in the armour should be absolutely fine. And once we have an opening, we'll just push through so we can get behind them. And then we've got more angles of fire on them. And pull back. And then shoot everything. Sweet, that was nice and simple. Undraft, everyone go to do what you're going to do. Let's go back and trade. So they'll buy the smoke leaf and some hyperweave they got seraphim which isn't super useful for us unfortunately no luciferium here 
but we were able to sell off a couple things and we made about another 1,900. We'll get everyone back to the base and we'll go into the research and see if we can find if there's any way to make Luciferium. We can research Luciferium, we just need to find the blueprint to unlock it, then we will be good to go on that. But trying to find it at the moment just seems a little bit more challenging than it should be. Normally you can get it fairly, fairly often. The alpacas are joined from winning the last raid, our caravan has returned and we've also got a quest for enormous construction, but I think we will turn that down. They never seem worth it whenever you do them. I think we'll give Nynx a chain gun, Tolga a chain gun, and we'll give Blue the heavy rifle, which means that we are just missing one gun right now, which isn't a massive issue. We'll be able to pick another one up fairly soon. And we also have a bunch of things that are unfortunately locked, which is just messing up our research at the moment. So we're going to need to go around and redo this. For some reason, it was saying we didn't have a high-tech research bench. So all we've done is we've just gone and destructed the high-tech research benches. And now we're just, we're not reinstalling them, but we're remaking them. And hopefully that will sort it out so that will allow us to start researching the stuff that we should be able to research. Which means that we can basically just skip it and get the Luciferium going right away. If we can get that, that would be ace. So yeah, everything is now allowed again. So I'm not sure how that happened. And let's find our Luciferium. Cool, so we go Luciferium into Sarf. into mechanoid power get some vital monitors why not get drug formula mechanoid fabrication and that'll do us for the moment and let's go try out Nix's new gun okay he's got left arm shot off right arm shot off left leg shot off no wonder he moves so slowly. But it also means his accuracy is going to suck. But let's have a little look at this bad boy. Let's see what it does. He 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 he. Can't hit anything with it. But in the kill zone, that is going to be a lot of firepower just being sprayed down. Okay, how about if you shoot in the middle? Maybe then you can hit something. Okay, impressive. Still nearly managed to miss everything. Once more, you're going to try again. You got this, bro. That'll do. Kind of cool. I imagine having your arm shot off doesn't make you a very good shot somehow. And unforbid all items. As for healing that, we don't really have too much that we can do. I guess we can keep an eye out for some prosthetics. Which we don't really have at the moment. We do have the health dispenser, that will be able to do a little bit, that will get him one limb back possibly, but that seems like a bit of a waste of resources for the moment. Oh amazing, we got a door to door seller from the UAC, and that means we should be able to shift a whole load of things. Not that we really have a massive amount because we're not producing too much, but we can get some stuff done. And maybe, just maybe they're the, the mech resurrector serum or luciferium. Or basically any of that stuff would be pretty ace. We will reinforce the kill zone just because we're getting to the point where the raids are getting fairly big and there's stray shots going everywhere. That uh, we might end up literally just shooting a hole into our kill zone and then the enemy, you know, does what they do and avoid the kill zone, which wouldn't be great for us. Let's go and trade. Actually, we'll send Squint to do the trading. He's got the best skills. Our packers are gone. Sell with the chem fuel. You can have the pose. Now that's cool. We can get a UAC security helmet masterwork for a respectable price. So we'll go grab that. We're selling off the cloves that we don't need. We'll pick up uh, another two heavy cannons because they are pretty decent. We'll sell off 800 wood because, well, we don't really need it. We want the plastic. We want the steel. They got a lot of medicine and it's going quite cheap, so I think we'll get 
We'll get 200 medicine. Okay, maybe not. 197. They can have the pearls. They've got the chem fuel. We'll sell 1,000 rice. You can have the raw fungus. You can have the turkey meat and the potatoes, tortoise. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the meat because we don't really need it right now. I think that puts us in a decent situation. Ape now has a weapon. I think everyone else is equipped up as well. Yeah. And we've all got the masterwork helmet, which is very, very nice. Lucy's nearly researched. And I'm just curious on what it is going to take to produce. Because we do have another way of producing it is with the Mechanite Foundry. And that requires a lot of nutriamine. Which is fairly expensive to produce because you make it out of lots and lots and lots of plant stuffs. And we are just struggling to get everything harvested at the moment. So it might not be the best thing for us right now. Okay, to make Luciferium this way, they want a AI core. So you must actually have a crazy amount of Luciferium get produced off that. Because a AI core is costing a lot. So that's 8 advanced components, 65 steel, 70 uranium and 120 plastic, which is actually mental. And then they want that mixed with a, well an AI core mixed with a advanced component. That is some very expensive Lucy right there. I guess we can always try the other way, which is with the mechanites. So that's mechanite fabrication into the luciferium into the luciferium fabrication that might be the best way for us to do it i think that's a good time to wrap up the episode so i'll catch you guys on the next one